Hello, and welcome to the Cisco Secure Cloud Native Security Spot On Series. My name is Ed McNicholas, and I'm a cybersecurity architect with Cisco Systems. In today's session, we're going to go through an introduction and overview of the Cloud Native Security Spot On Series. So all the sessions that we're going to provide to you. So like I said, today is just an introduction and an overview of what we're building and how we're building it. And then after that, we're going to have multiple sessions that go into provisioning the architecture, security analytics, workload protection, Kubernetes and container security, application security, cloud security posture management, cloud native security firewall, what's the difference? And then the vulnerability management. And then we're going to keep going on and on with this. So as technologies evolve and other products and, and solutions come about, um, we, we're going to add more sessions as this goes. So this isn't just a, a one-stop shop series. This is going to be an evolving thing. So what is today's agenda? Like I said, an overview of what we are building, what DevOps tools we will be using, and what Cisco Secure Cloud Solutions we're gonna to use to secure our environment. So what are we building? So we're gonna deploy our infrastructure up in AWS. We're gonna deploy a VPC. We're gonna utilize EKS as our Kubernetes stack. Um, we're gonna deploy two, EK, uh, two EC2 instances. One EC2 instance is gonna have our secure firewall that'll be deployed at the edge. And then we'll also have another e EC2 instance that'll have our EKS worker node, our Kubernetes worker node. And within that EKS worker node, we're gonna have a couple applications. We're gonna have uh, you know, some demo apps such as Yelp and Nginx that we're gonna try to secure. And then we're also gonna have um, some security apps inside that Kubernetes environment as well. Um, to deploy this, uh, we're, we're going to need a dev box with all our DevOps tools. Uh, so let's discuss what DevOps tools we're going to be using. So Terraform obviously is, is one of the most popular infrastructure as a code tools. Um, it is super popular, not only just with infrastructure as code, but is also getting very popular with security as code type of things. So let's say like as a security vendor, uh, we've been writing providers that allow us to use Terraform to configure uh, security as code as well. And we're also using Ansible, um, which is a, a super powerful uh, configuration management tool and also a provisioning tool. So we're gonna utilize Ansible to do some configuration management with our secure firewall and show you how we can use Ansible to secure um, a whole bunch of other things such as workload and, and other things as well. Um, the AWS CI, we're going to use um, pretty much to interact with our, our EKS API, our Kubernetes uh, dashboard API. And then we're going to utilize GitHub as our, as our source code repository. Um, so all our code is going to be up in GitHub. We're going to utilize GitHub to trigger our, our Jenkins CI CD pipelines. Um, we deploy uh, kubectl, which is the Kubernetes CLI. So we're going to utilize this more for just monitoring the environment because we're going to be doing the provisioning and deployment using Terraform and Ansible. Um, so, but we still need we still need kubectl to to go in and, and do some monitoring. Uh, we're going to deploy Docker. Uh, so we're going to utilize Docker to run our Ansible playbook. So for instance, when we have a playbook that is gonna configure our secure firewall, um, we're gonna utilize that Ansible playbook inside of a Docker container. We're gonna run it inside a Docker container. And we're gonna utilize Jenkins as our CI CD pipeline tool. So we're gonna be doing all this from Jenkins. We're gonna build a multi-branch pipeline in Jenkins and, and that's gonna do all the work for us. Okay, so what secure cloud native solutions are we going to deploy? So initially, what you're going to see is you're going to see us deploy a secure firewall inside of our infrastructure at the edge, like I showed you in our diagram. We're also going to deploy secure cloud analytics so we can get visibility, analytics, alerting, and, and some threat protection inside of our Kubernetes environment. Um, we're also going to deploy a secure workload. Secure workload gives us the ability to do micro segmentation, not just at the workload level, uh, at the pod level. So we can actually do segmentation inside of the application, inside of Kubernetes, between pods. And, and then we're going to get in the secure application cloud native. Uh, this is a brand new product that's being launched by Application Dynamics or App Dynamics, I should say. And um, this product specifically deals with container security, 
uh, serverless security, vulnerability within the containers, runtime security, API security. So we're going to dive real deep into that. And then we're going to keep going on and on. So we'll get into secure apps, secure cloud insights, secure uh, secure firewall, cloud native, are, are all things that we're going to keep running and adding to to this spot on series. So here are a couple of resources uh, that that I'm giving you. Obviously, the the deck will be posted to the YouTube channel. So click on all these resources are exactly what we're using in this spot on series, as well as all the Cisco secure resources uh, that we're using. So there, some of them are uh, demo trials. Some of them are uh, DevNet sandboxes, uh, all resources that you can use to build this out yourself. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to cs.co slash spot on underscore series to subscribe to this series. And I want to thank you and I hope you enjoy this cloud native security spot on series.